The second year in a row, Rockville and Shackamack met in the Class A state baseball finals. Shackamack loads the bases in the first for Parker Green. The Lakers sophomore delivers an RBI single to left to give Shackamack a 1 0 lead. Bottom of the first, Rockville's turn with the bases loaded. The number five hitter, Tyler Rapp, is up and he just crushes this pitch over the center fielder's head to clear the bases. Rapp's three run triple gives the Rocks a 3 1 lead. Rockville's Star pitcher Dalton Laney with the strikeout in the second inning. The ISU recruit had 12 strikeouts. Things not looking good for Shackamack in the fifth. Lakers trail 4-1, but trying to rally. Mike Huddleston just unloads on this pitch, hitting it all the way to the warning track and left for an RBI double. Shackamack down 4-2 now. Sixth inning, Shackamack threatening with two on. Lakers have tying run at second. Laney, like he did all game, comes up with a huge pitch as he gets out of the jam with a strikeout. Final inning. And now you're watching history, folks. Rockville third baseman Craig Overpeck throws the first for the final out ball game. Rockville baseball brings home the school's first state championship in any sport, beating Shackamack 4-2 to win the Class A state championship. Sports Sports Megan McEwen is here with me at Victory Field. She has more on the Rocks state title victory. Thanks, Rick. Well, ever since June 21st, 2014, when they lost to Shackamack 3-2 in the state title game, the Rockville baseball team has wanted nothing more than to get back to Victory Field and win a state title. Well, they came out on fire today, scoring four runs in the first inning, including a huge momentum-changing three-run triple from junior Tyler Rapp. Oh, this is probably the biggest hit I've ever had in my life. Uh, felt good. I saw the pitch and just hit it. It was awesome. I was on base, and he scored me and two other guys, and it was just it definitely set the mood for the game. It's remarkable, man. You realize how clutch that is for a junior to do that in the state championship? Bases low. They had the same situation. And he came clutch. That's all that matters. It hasn't sunk in yet. I, it feels like another game, but I know it's a lot bigger than that, and I know there's a lot of people that feel that it's a lot bigger, and I'm sure tonight, maybe tomorrow morning, it's really going to hit me what we've accomplished. Well, obviously, we had another team here in Shackamack who won the state title last year but fell short today. However, their senior class is going to go down as one of the most successful in school history. Sectional, regional, semi-state champs, state runner-ups. I mean, I hate, I hate losing, but it's, it could be a lot worse. We just had a bad day, and I guess it was a bad day to have a bad day out here in the state championship. So, I mean, nothing we can hang our heads on, really. We started our freshman here, year here, then we ended our senior year here, so it's, it's awesome. Well, congratulations to the Rockville Rocks, who won their first state title game ever in any sport in school history.